it can be a frustrating experience. The prospect has great goals. You know that you can help him. The prospect says that he loves your gym. He even says that he can afford your membership. Then he says he wants to check out some other gyms before he makes his decision. You could let the prospect walk out the door without a membership, hoping that after they go to your competition, they still feel warm and fuzzy about you. The truth is that probably won't happen no matter how warm and fuzzy they were before uh, they left. So let me teach you what I call the searches over close. Now, before I share it with you, though, let me tell you when this close won't work. It won't work by itself. You deploy it in conjunction with the rest of my Art of Selling membership sales system. It won't work if your prospect does not genuinely like your gym or your program. You'll hear me say this many times. There isn't a good selling technique for a bad program. That's called a con job. It won't work if your prospect does not believe that you can help them. No trust equals no sale. And last but not least, this may be a bit obvious, but it won't work if you don't truly believe in yourself and your program. Having this belief is crucial to applying the search is over close when someone gives you the comparison shopping objection. If you don't have this belief in yourself, go get some Tony Robbins or something and come back to this blog post later. All right, I hear you. Let's get to the close already. So there's two steps. Step number one is verify that they like your program and it's affordable to them. Step two, use the searches over close to get a commitment. Now, the conversation might go like this. Mr. Prospect, you liked our program and you've selected a membership option that fits within your budget, correct? Prospect says yes. Now, I understand that you want to check out our competition prior to becoming a member here. Is that right? Yes. Okay, great. I agree with looking around for the best program at the best price that's affordable and within your budget. That's ultimately why we look around, right? I mean, let's say you're looking for a new apartment or a new house. You might look at a few different spots. Then you find the one. What happens when you find the one? Prospect might say, well, you sign the lease, you move in, et cetera, et cetera. Exactly. You stop searching. The search is over because you found the one you were looking for. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what you found here with this membership. You found a program that can help you and that you said you liked. In addition to that, you also acknowledge that it's affordable and fits into your budget. The search is over. You found the right program for you at the right price for you. Isn't that correct? Prospect might say, yeah, I get your point. I guess you're right. Okay, Mr. Prospect, great. Welcome to the club. How would you like me to set up your membership? By credit card or by check? Now, the reason that the search is over close works so well is because it makes sense. When you found what you're looking for, you stop looking. If the prospect didn't tell you that he liked it and, and that he couldn't afford it, that's a whole different story. But you got all the green lights to sell him a membership. Now close the deal and get that membership. 